Welcome to World Cinema Reviews. This is your host Frank the Vamp. And tonight um, we're doing another installment of Original Foreign versus American Remake. Uh, this has been one of my, you know, I think two out of the five most watched videos that I have in my channel come from that series. Um, I mean, I, and I apologize because I haven't done one for a while. But, you know, I, I really love to get an original foreign movie that has been terrific, uh, especially horror, and um, and basically compare it to the American Remy to see how it stands. Sometimes we get surprises where, you know, the Remy's are really good, sometimes they even surpass the original in very few cases. Now, tonight's movie, The Wicker Man, it's not going to be one of them. I thought that I'm gonna make a, a you know, I, I'm still gonna give you, you know, the, the 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 comparison, the review. I'm gonna try to be respectful about it. I'm gonna be try to be polite about it, but it, it's really hard. Um, the American movie that was made, it's just so bad, and it's not just bad. It's it's, it's insulting, and it's so. It turns out that you know the Nicolas Cage movie was so bad that it actually went good. Like it's actually laughable. So um, when I saw the original, you know, Wicker Man, uh, it blew my mind away. This this thing that was made in 2006 is not even worth mentioning in the same breath. But I'm gonna you know I'm gonna humor you guys and follow me, and I hopefully that this is gonna. If you've seen the uh, Nicolas Cage movies, you know, one of my goals is that you get to see the original because it's a beautiful film and not this crap, not the, not the 2006 movie, just awful. Okay, so in 1973, this wonderful film, The Wicker Man, was made. It was directed by Robin Hardy and, and this UK film um, star the awesome Edward Woodward, uh, the beautiful Brit Eklund, and the incredibly awesome Christopher Lee, among others. Uh, the you know the plot takes us to to this uh, to the Scottish Hebridean Island Summer Isle, and and this is breathtaking views. It's just. I'm going to talk a little bit more about it, but it's just beautiful cinematography. Um, and basically, it takes this policeman that, you know, goes into the island investigating the disappearance of a little girl. And uh, when he goes, he's, you know, he's very surprised that, you know, people don't worship Christianity there. They have a, a pagan Celtic religion. Um, and it's... You know, basically the film is him trying to find the little girl, and um, and 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 having the difficulties of of the, the 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 island people are not willing to help him. They're not they're not making an effort to do anything for him. And uh, in fact, they are playing games with them, denying that they even know the girl. And either the girl is sick, and either the girl is dead or alive, and um, you know the, So it's really a journey of a mystery to find out what happened to the girl, but you know the awesomeness of it is also a victim. You know, he's also learning about this new religion, and and well, this not really, really ancient religion, and 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 he's shocked, you know, because he's very strong Christian belief that he's got and and you know he's put through temptation he's put through uh, you know through this very difficult task and and, and the outcome is, is really shocking and beautiful at the same time um, now what makes this film a terrific film um, first of all, I want to tell you that the right of the bat is the uh, I love the acting in this film. 
I I really 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 love it. I mean, uh, I can oh, I can really tell you that you know I enjoy every minute on screen. Um. Um. And and one of the things is just is just so interesting. Uh, you know, you know that you know guys that I have this thing for. You know, for you know Christopher Lee is just fantastic. You know, as the uh, um, as as uh, Samurai. Let, let me look him up here. He's uh, he's uh, Lord Samurai. And he's kind of like the, the the director, the the mayor of the island, and we have Edward Woodward, which is fantastic as Sergeant Howie, and Sergeant Howie, he's just, you know, you can you can see his belief, you can see his displeased about the pagan rituals, um, you know, when he's seeing them. There's people copulating the streets, people freaking having sex, you know, outdoors, like. And through the whole island, I mean, there's there's a lot of uh, you no know, paganism going on, and and, and and people sort of like being naked on top of graves, and and things are just out there, man. And he he's just not having. It. He's a very you know he's got this strong. Not only is he he a Christian, he's just a devout Christian. You know, he's seen him as he's he's shown in the scene going to church, and 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 the ending. It's just fantastic how he shows that his faith, uh, no, that's not wither despite you know the the, you know the the, the opposition of the uh, uh, Celtic pagan religion. Um, I love the music about it, which is basically you know pagan chants and 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 all English music. Um, I love, you know, I love Brit Eklund. You know, she's you know she I think she was married to uh, Peter Sellers and I could see why she's got an awesome scene in it she looks gorgeous I mean you just by that alone even the mood wouldn't be any good you know <laughs> pretty close but it's it's just that the movie it's you know, as cultural wise, it's just so entertaining. You know, the cinematography is beautiful. The aisles are, are just so awesome. So it's just, how can I describe it? I'm, I'm truly blown away. I mean, great acting, great directing, um, very interesting story. Cultural wise, to see the pagan rituals. Um, and you got to see the Sergeant Howe's strong belief, you know, uh, you know, in his Christianity, and you got to give him credit for that for being so, so stuck to it. And 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 that equals to an incredible film. I really love The Wicker Man. I recommend you 1973 movie. Please go watch it if you haven't seen it. It's just such a terrific film. Okay, I mean that's. I don't want to spoil what. You know, you know things that go on it, but I am going to spoil some of the remake because maybe if you haven't seen it, maybe you shouldn't. Um, yeah, there's uh, Nicholas Cage is a policeman, and uh, he he's got a daughter with some girl, and she asks for help, and she says, "Hey, you know, she lives in an island that." There's some pagan girls from England that started a religion, and and they're living, I think, somewhere near Boston. I think, if I can remember right, um, it goes to this little island where there seem to be only women, and uh, it carries the sense, I guess, the sentiment of this, of the, of the secret. You know, where's the girl? You know what has been done to it that's carried over but that's about it I mean it has so many flaws um, the where we begin um, I guess let, let's begin with the obvious with everybody's wondering about uh, 
the bees, the bees, the bees, you know, the, the overacting by Nicolas Cage. Um, yeah, you, you, if you've seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What, what did it burn? What did it burn? What did it burn? Why do repeating things three times make them more dramatic, Nicolas Cage? Oh, man. It, it is just so bad. Um, oh, yeah, and there's the he punches girls, mystery children, dre dresses in a bear suit, and punches girls in a bear suit. And of course, there's a, the the you know the the be torture device thing. It's just laughable, man. Like I said I was thinking of making this, you know, a, a, a serious video, but you just can't do it. It's just so it's laughable. I mean, you 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 look at it, you're like laughing because you just can't take it seriously. Uh, you know, the problem is the very first time I went to the movie theater and watched this movie, I took it seriously. You know, I, I really did. I, I heard the, the, the Wicker Man was good, you know, and I haven't seen it. I said, oh, yeah, the remake, oh, wow, you know, and then, oh, man. <laughs> not even close, man, not even close. Um, yeah, not visually as interesting at all. Um some of the customs compare are ridiculous. The bear suit, please. Um, you know the 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 women who supposedly hated men thing. Supposedly, you know, won't we'll spoil that part of it. You know, kill the drone, kill the drone. You know, it destroyed the beauty of the contrast of religions. This made it to a guy who just didn't believe in anything. Oh yeah, there's a backstory where Nicolas Cage saw this little girl die, so he doesn't want his little girl to die, which is meaningless. Because of course, if you have a little girl, why wouldn't you? Why would you? You wouldn't want her to die. You don't need any other motivation than that. If I'm a father and somebody tells me that somebody kidnapped my daughter, do I need any other motivation? No. This is just shameful. He's dumb. Um, it's laughable. The other actors don't help. Let me see who's on the. Oh yeah, let, let me expose these people. Neil Labute. Um, you know, directs this. Nicholas Cage, Ellen Burstein, KBN. They're all awful. They're just bad. So. Yeah. Watch the original Wicker Man. Avoid like the play the 2006 remake. Unless you want to laugh. So I guess, you know, let's, let's talk about the good things. Yeah, I guess it works as a comedy, like, but don't compare it to the film. If you just want something to laugh and, and just to be how bad it is, it might be worth your time. But, you know, I wouldn't pay that much money for this. This is, should be a bargain DVD. Um, I thought I got, you know, I, it was a real bargain to buy the Wicker Man. It was $5, the original Wicker Man. I didn't even check to see how much was the uh, remake because I don't own it. And I don't want to own it. Anyways, I hope you enjoy my another installment of uh, original foreign versus American remake. I hope that next time I can bring you a better one. But this is just, you know, this is just hands down the original Wicker Man wins. Once the original Wicker Man, avoid the other one unless you want to laugh. The Wicker Man gets an A. Um, the, um, you know, the original, the remake makes, gets a D minus. Maybe a D if you like the laughter. Have a good one. Be blessed. Like if you like the video. Subscribe if you like if you want to. If you enjoy me, and also please comment, like it or not. I would love your comments. Be blessed. Stay tuned for another videos. Tons of new videos coming up. Hopefully I can get them soon. Bye.